Jeremy, if you could just weigh in on this idea. I remember at that briefing, I think it was day four or five of the, the, the self-inflicted crisis, really was a slow motion car wreck watching this White House fight with a gold star widow for seven days. Donald Trump live tweeting her appearance on GMA. The White House chief of staff taking to the podium in the press briefing room, giving a heart wrenching description of how his own son came home, but then also using that same appearance to attack the credibility of uh, the widow's representative in Congress. I wonder if you can speak to just the strategic importance of our military deployments in Africa, how many more or less troops are deployed and the nature of those missions? Well, there are two places in the world where our combatant commanders, our four stars, are in a shooting war. One is obviously Central Command with General Joe Votel, but the other is Africa, Africa Command with General Tom Waldhauser. And I know General Waldhauser well, um, and I've, I've visited him at his headquarters uh, uh, a few months back. And they are dropping ordnance on targets as we speak. They're putting service members into harm's way. They're walking patrols with, uh, with soldiers and service members and intelligence officers from their African allies. Um, they're trying to work out of the Horn of Africa. We have a base there in Djibouti. There is a tremendous amount of military activity the United States is doing in Africa to protect our homeland. It is very much a national security and a homeland security issue, as you point out.